Hello, it's Crafty Carol here in this glorious weather, isn't it just lovely? But it's hot as well. Um, I'm here with another how-to hint about how you can get inspiration for your cards. So, one of the great places to look for inspiration is our catalogue because there's so many ideas in it. So, if we open the catalogue, we can see that on most of the kit pages, that's about the kits, but on all the pages, I don't know if I've got this in, in view properly, but anyway, on all the pages, there are ideas. So here's some for the Tea Boutique Suite. And in fact, I took that one and used it in my Tea Boutique Suite uh, class. So I did that one. There's so many. And on most pages, there are ideas. So if you're ever stuck for inspiration, why not use the catalogue? And there's so, there's so many ideas. Oh, there's the gorgeous Happy Forest Friends. But I'm going to go to a particular page which caught my eye because I have got the Blessings at Home bundle, which is a beautiful bundle. Uh, here it is. It actually comes with the dies. The bundle includes the dies, the flowers of home. And there are so many stamps and things in this. Uh, some gorgeous sentiments and these lovely images as well. And uh, here are the dies. You can see how many stamps and dies there are. So many, it's very beautiful. So, um, I looked at this page and I thought, do you know what? I like that idea. I like this idea. And I've used those ideas to make a card. So let me show you where these designs actually took me. Um, if I start with that one, I'll show you what I've done with it. Because you don't have to copy per se. You can develop it your own way if you like. You can copy it directly if you wanted and that's fine too. Um, this one's lovely, it's done with, you've done a background using the stamps to make the background and then put the image in the middle uh, on pool party card that looks to me and um, with the glorious glittery ribbon. Um, so that's beautiful and it's used um, green and then white embossing for the sentiment there. But I thought I like that layout but that particular colour combination does do an awful lot for me. So let me make my own. So always use the catalogue to case. We call it casing. Um, various people say different things, but copy and share everything is a nice way to think of case. So for this particular card, I thought I am going to copy it. Done my envelope, of course. Never, ever forget to stamp your envelope. So I decided to go with Fresh Freesia, which is one of my favourite colours. I've already done the inside of the envelope and I've just stamped and coloured that. So for the front, I'm using a piece of this absolutely lovely paper, which is from the mini catalogue. Uh, yeah, from the um, July to December catalogue. And it's called Splendid Day and it's the most glorious paper. And it's got these lovely muted patterns on one side and lovely, shiny, glittery, foil type patterns on the other but for this one I want to use um, this slightly more muted fresh freesia colour that matches my base card so uh, in the case in the catalogue it's got it right over to the side um, I think probably I come in just very slightly I like to leave a little bit of a gap on the side so I'm going to stick that on first and then I'll show you what I've actually done with my image so I'll just put a little bit of Tombow on here. Um, tape might be better actually with foil, but anyway, let's see how we go. <laughs> I don't think there's particularly an up and down in this. I think they're going always, so I don't think it matters which way around I go. So I've cut this. This is on a basic card base, which is 14.8 uh, by 21, scored at 10 and a half. Um, and I've cut the DSP to the same length, which is 14.8 centimetres. And I've cut it at seven and a half centimetres wide. So that is my base for the card. And then I have stamped the large image from the Blessings at Home set, um, coloured it with, I've used actually Fresh Freesia, the dark and the light blends. Uh, they come as a pair, so you get the dark and the light Fresh Freesia blends. And I've used um, another colour from the 2021-23 collection, Soft Succulent, to do the leaves. And again, I've used the two shades of it. And then I've cut it out with the dye. And you see how beautifully the dye cuts it out with a nice even edge all the way around. So for the sentiment, um, I've used... Now, on the um, actual sentiment, it's thank you for inspiring me, but actually I've just stamped the thank you bit of it uh, and just 
pointy the ends and I'm going to stick that on with dimensionals and instead of using the glittery ribbon which I do have but can't find anyway uh, <clears throat> it must be somewhere but I don't know where um, I've actually done a little double blow but little, I can't speak little double bow in white twine and used that so I'm just going to stick these on with some dimensionals my uh, slightly sun damaged dimensionals don't ask but I left them out near the sun and um, gone a bit funny they're still perfectly sticky but they've gone a bit white on the back a bit odd on the back uh, and again I'm going to stick the um thank you on with dimensions I'm going to use one of the little edge strips I never waste any bits of dimension so just take the tops off those always slightly fiddly and as I've said before I do get them all around the house <laughs> and then I'm just going to stick that on roughly there when it's slightly overlapping onto the base card here just to take away from that quite severe edge and then the thank you can go here again i want it to overlap so try and get it on nice and straight and then i'm going to stick this on with a glue dot let me just get my glue dots out there we go uh where are my glue dots <laughs> I always forget to tear the edge off. <laughs> Let me do it now and then I won't forget next time. So I'm just going to use a glue dot. That bow is just a little bit squishy. Let me just see if I can straighten it out a little bit. There we go. That's better. So then I can press the bow itself on the glue dot to pick the glue dot up. And then I'll stick that on. Oh, seem to have a dog hair as well. Thank you, Gus. You're very good at giving me nice little dog hairs everywhere. And that is definitely twisted, but I think I'll fiddle with it later. Oops, stuck it to my finger now. But I'm just going to, oh, I think I'll stick this, put the thank you a bit lower than I planned, I think. So I'm just going to stick it on the top there. There we go. And I will play and un untie that later and <laughs> sort it out. Um, and then all I'm going to do is add a few iridescent gems, if I can work out where my top is now. Do you know what? The side is split, so we'll just pull them out the side. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, and I'm going to put just, I think I'll use this size actually, and I'm just going to put a couple of little gems down here. Just in a little line. Actually, I'm going to use uh, the tiny ones. There. I have one big one at the top, and two smaller ones coming down in a little line here. And that's all I'm going to do. And that's my card. Um, so that's case from the catalogue. Again, I've done my envelope already. So um, see how see what you think. If you're looking for inspiration, then use the catalogue case from the catalogue. And I got carried away because I didn't only make that one. I actually decided to make another one in using the similar layout idea, but it's going to look completely different. So here it is. Here's my one of my bits. Again, I've stamped and coloured my envelope, but this time I've used the reverse of this paper. And I've stuck on two little strips of silver foil either side, and I'm going to stick this in the centre of the card. So I'll put that on first. And so it's a little bit different, but it's still using the same idea. And I just got that idea by looking in the catalogue. So that is my tip for today. If you're ever stuck for ideas, there's so many in the catalogue, we can pick them up from there. So, that is my gold strip and gold foil. Just make sure that's stuck and not going to slide around. And then uh, what I've done with the image this time, I've used the smaller image. I don't know if you can see, it's going to catch the lights, but I've just embossed it in silver. Um, and I've done the same thing with the thank you and just embossed that in silver as well. And I'm not going to do any colouring. I'm just going to leave them as they are um, and stick them on the front again using some dimensionals. So uh, let's just do that. Put a few on here. And a couple on the thank you. And this time, instead of having it to the side, oops, I don't know what's happened to that one, it's bent, never mind. Oh, there we go. Uh, instead of having this in the side, I'm going to have this more or less central because I've put those more or less central. So I've really tinkered with the idea from the catalogue and made it my own, really. Oh, and I should have mentioned I've cut this out with the one of the rectangle dies, uh, which gives it the nice stitched edge. 
so I think we'll have that just there and then I can put on my thank you just at the bottom again in the middle hopefully straight there we go so there is my second idea using the same thing from the catalogue this time inside i've just stamped in grey granite and um, the tiny a bit of the uh, image that i've used on the front and again i'm not going to color it in because it's not colored on the front i'm leaving it just as an embossed image so there we have two ideas using the same layout from the catalogue and i hope you like that idea and i hope you gain your own inspiration from what you see and if you want to see more from me, then please uh, check out the rest of this YouTube channel, subscribe so you don't miss anything and uh, check out my website, craftycarolscards.co.uk, where you'll find all sorts of other ideas and uh, a lot of instructions and videos to make all sorts of other cards. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.